been on trial here for the last six weeks. Some say it should have been the whole political system as well. The charge is a simple one, but the implications couldn't be more far-reaching. It is that in 1985, doctors in charge of France's transfusion service allowed stocks of blood products contaminated with the AIDS virus to be used to treat haemophiliacs. 250 of them are now dead, and a thousand more are HIV positive as a result. Tests to screen the blood and a heat treatment to kill the virus were both available at the time, but were deliberately not used. The then head of the transfusion service, Dr. Michel Garetta, is alleged to have ordered the continued use of the contaminated supplies to save money. His evidence and that of his three co-accused have been listened to with a mixture of stunned silence and shouted protests. Dr. Garetta, though, has accused the socialist prime minister at the time, Laurent Fabius, of slashing vital funds for AIDS research during that crucial period. And the minister in overall charge then of health matters, Georgina Dufois, has told the court she felt deeply responsible but not guilty. Such subtle distinctions have been lost on the innocent victims of the scandal. Of all the problems we face in our lives, this one is like the sword of Damocles hanging over our heads. Dr. Michel Garetta faces four years in prison, his co-accused heavy fines. But the issue of ministerial responsibility, which many here see as the real issue, remains untried and untested. David Chater, ITN, at the Palace of Justice in Paris.